Hello and uh, welcome to the Make It Count workout. This is the first workout for this month and uh, I'm uh, glad to introduce you to intense workouts made of only body weight, no equipment, just ourselves and the floor. So are you ready? We're going to use the same uh, setup that we've had before. So use your timer, set it for 16 rounds this time of 10 and 50 seconds uh, intervals. We're going through the four exercises and we're going through them four rounds. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to show you the exercises. First exercise, sumo jump tuck. You're going to do wide legs and then you go down in your knees in a squat, chest up like this, go deep. And then you're going to jump up and tuck your knees up as high as you can, like this. Keep your chest up and keep your knees over your toes when you're in the squat. Beginners can do this. Keep wide legs. Go down in the squat. Just go as low as feels natural for you. Keep your chest forward and your back straight. That's the, that's the main point of this. Go down and then up and jump like this. If you can't lift your knees, don't lift them. Just do the jump. So down and jump. So you have more like vertical jumps instead. That's fine. Second exercise, dynamic bridge and four kick-ups. Looks like this. You're gonna lay down to the floor, then you're gonna put both hands beside your head, bend your knees, and push your hips towards the ceiling, towards the ceiling like this. Then you're gonna push yourself all the way up with your arms, like this. That's the dynamic bridge. And then down, arms, head, shoulders, back. Then you're gonna go up here in the grab position, stretch one leg out, and jump up and switch, like this, four times. Two, three, four. Down on the floor, bridge. One, two, three, four. Bridge. One, two, three, four. If you're new to this, Lay down on the floor. You can put both your hands beside your head, but concentrate on your hips. Push them towards the ceiling like this. Push them up and then try to get up on your shoulders and a little bit off the ground. Even a little bit helps. So push your hips up and try to get off Get your shoulders off the floor, just a little bit. And then, up in the crab position, you can have your butt on the ground, stretch one leg out, and lift your hips up, put it down, put your butt down, and lift one foot again, and your hips. The higher you lift your hips, the better. So it looks like this. Up. And up. Or you find another way that works for you. Just keep moving, keep doing something, and the results will come. Third exercise, monkey push-up. Monkey push-up. It looks like this. Um, go down in the squat, but not all the way down. Just stop the squat when you have 90 degrees in your legs and your knees. Then, 
um, tilt forward and on your arms like this and then you're gonna do a push up towards the top of your head and up push yourself back in the squats and then take a jump towards the ceiling like this and that's the whole exercise if you're new go down to the squat crawl out to the pike position make a push up just bending your arms a little just a little and it helps crawl back rise up and jump a little bit diamond push up diamond push up looks like this you're gonna go down in the plank position and then you're gonna uh, put your hands together and your uh, point and your thumbs and your pointy fingers will touch each other so that you will and you will have the shape of a diamond between your hands. Push yourself over your hands so that your shoulder is over your hand. And go down to the floor like this and push yourself up here. This is a demanding exercise. Um, when I'm getting tired in the middle of the, the workout, I can maybe not do this perfectly myself. Then, do it like this. Gather your hands, make the diamond shape, go out on the plank, and just try to control the movement on the way down as much as you can until you reach the floor. Then you're gonna go up, up again via your knees, like this, and out on the plank, and just control yourself, your body weight the way down, and then up via your knees, like this. If that's too heavy, do regular push-ups.
I'm all, all sweaty and I'm really, really, I'm just exhausted. I can't really breathe yet. My hair is all messed up. I, I didn't even have time to think about my hair as I saw it after. Uh, and uh, it was a really, really good workout. Uh, it was great. No equipment, not even a mat. Uh, you could use a mat or a carpet or something that makes the, the ground a little softer, especially if you need to take uh, the push-ups from your knees, but <coughs> but basically you don't need any equipment, and this is a great workout. Still, it's it's marvelous. You just you just need to try it. You just need to um, do it. Find yourself uh, a place and a time. And, and Google a free interval, interval timer and, and do this workout because it's gonna it's gonna surprise you. It's great. I can I can feel it in my legs that they have been working, and my chest and my back. Everything is just it's nice and tired right now. So good luck.